70 in November? I'll take it. I'll take it. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the channel. Hope all of you are having a great day. Today is going to be an awesome one. We are picking up a new tow rig for the channel. Now, I've got my ZR1, and uh, we're also building that other fast car that will be revealed shortly. <laughs> So I need a tow rig. Now that other F450, that became a giveaway. The Vader truck was really never meant to be a tow rig. It was more of like a fun truck that I thought would make a great giveaway vehicle, which by the way, that one is live right now. This one went by so fast. I don't know why, but it did. And uh, this is five times entry week. And as always, we do not do a bigger entry multiplier than five. In chaindesigns.com, you can see $1 equals five entries for Vader. And I always forget, but make sure you sign up for the text list. It's really easy. Just sign up and you get 15% off. It pops up when you go to the website um, and just put in your number and everything. But yeah, you get 15% off. Also, we are doing giveaways with only people that are on that list. The Oculus Quest, we got drones, we got cool stuff for the people just on that list. So make sure you get on it. In other words, this is it. Your best possible opportunity to enter this week only. Five times entries to win that truck. Every $1 spent on InChainDesigns.com gets you five entries to win that truck. And you have a chance of winning that stuff as well. So yeah, get on that right away because the time is running out big time. We're going to get into all the tow rig stuff here in a second. But first, the Bronco because it is sadly time to say goodbye. Now, yes, I really like the Bronco. If you're on the fence about getting one, you want one, I say go for it. It's a great little truck. Um, I had a fantastic time off-road, but I need the money right now more than I need another vehicle. And the reason why I bought it for like a week is because I got it for MSRP. That was my deal on it, which means I'm into the Bronco for about 59 grand overall. Tax tags, all that, I'm in for 59. I'm expecting even on the low end at auction for this to go for about 75. So that means I make a free 50. Now, normally I don't flip vehicles, but normally I don't just go and buy a vehicle and then sell it a week later because I'll lose money. But with the market the way it is right now, especially if you can get a, a hot new vehicle like this for MSRP, you can flip it and make so much money for doing nothing. I literally got paid 15 grand to drive a Bronco for a week and make a video and have fun. Um, so that's not a bad deal. So that's where it's gone. It's gone to Mannheim auction and it will be live by Friday. And yes, I'm aware it is filthy and that's why right now we're going to the car wash to make it look nice going across the block. While I do that, you guys can hear the reaction of Montana, an 18 year old kid basically. I mean, I, was, I feel like I'm almost a kid. Uh, an 18 year old who won, what is going on with the seat? Who won our 2017 F 450 platinum plus 10 grand cash. He was pumped, but uh, the phone call was hilarious because I almost screwed up. Let's go ahead and call the winner of the F450. The only bad part is I lost the initial phone call footage and it was really good because you know how I, I always mess with people and say like, ah, oh, I'm calling about your car's extended warranty and then I say like, oh, I've got a paper here and it says whatever the new car is and I tell them and I said, you know, I, it says here you have an F450 Platinum. And he said, no. And I said, well, do you want one? And he said, no. And he was like, goodbye. After that, he said, no, goodbye. And uh, like, I was in a panic. Luckily, Beaver was like, wait, 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 don't hang up the phone. So it was really funny. But of course, uh, I lost the footage from a good, funny phone call. And he did answer on like the first uh, try, but I'll call him back here. So this is Montana, Kansas City. Um, and he is the winner, 18 years old winner of our F450 plus 10 grand. Hey, Montana. Hey. Hey, how are you, buddy? I'm good. It sounds like you're just waking up. I'm sorry. I know it's Saturday. I'm sure you're trying to uh, sleep in, but uh, I just wanted to call you back here. I know you already know now that you're a winner, um, but I just wanted to, now that I'm actually, I can film it again, I just wanted to say thank you uh, one more time. And has it sunk in yet? Yeah. A little bit, okay. Well, when you see the video of the phone call, I think that's gonna really solid, uh, solidify it for you. I think I said something about like, oh, your F450 warranty, and you said no, and you were about to hang up the phone. Oh yeah, yeah. I really almost hung up on you. I know, I, I, so maybe I gotta stop messing with people, but um, <laughs> yeah, man, just uh, another huge congrats, and uh, you know, thank you so much for entering and everything, and did you talk to Beaver at all about when you wanna fly up and check it out? Uh, I haven't talked about uh, when we're gonna, when I'm gonna fly out yet, but okay, it'll probably be like a Sunday or Sunday Monday. Cool. Huge congrats and uh, thanks for uh, doing the second call here because I lost the 
footage somehow. But um, thank you, buddy, and we will talk soon. Later. Yeah, maybe I should not mess with people, but I feel like you have to have a little fun on the phone. Um, but I really thought, I was actually like, I was speechless. So luckily Beaver spoke up and yelled like, wait, wait, wait. But um, I was just in shock. I was like, well, now what do I do? Um, so maybe for the next call, I won't talk about warranties because one of these times they'll block our number and then they won't answer again. Like they'll block every 717 number they see calling. Uh, but yeah, it went well. So congrats again to Montana. Super cool. And uh, he'll be up here. I'm assuming within like a week or, you know, we'll schedule the flight and everything. It's a pretty far drive. But we're here at the dealership and we're dropping off the Bronco. So this is it. Big goodbye to the Bronco. Fun little truck. Again, I think if you're on the fence about getting one, it is fun. I will say though, like there are some rattles and everything in here and not because I went off roading like, um, you know, and people say I'm crazy, but I think, I feel like the Jeep was built a little bit better and I hate to, like, I'm not trying to be anti Ford, but really like the Jeep felt a little bit more solid build quality. And I know that sounds insane. Um, the Bronco is definitely the better daily. Like if you're only going to drive it on the street, it drives more like a car. It drives better. I think most people that aren't used to how a, how a Jeep drives, I think they'll like the Bronco more. But um, yeah, it's, you know, it's definitely like a cheaper vehicle. It's not, and maybe I'm expecting the wrong thing, but I feel like for, I mean, this was a $59,000 vehicle. That's not cheap at all, especially to like normal people looking at something like this. And, and the four door would be a little bit more. Now, again, maybe they wouldn't get the wild track and the off-road stuff, so theirs would be cheaper, but it was not cheap. What's up, Beef? Just talking, just doing my review here. I'm trying to compare Joe. I don't want you to hear it. I'm talking about, I gotta be honest, I'm talking about Jeeps and Fords and it's a whole thing. It is a But little. we're dropping it off. Okay. Overall, though, honestly, really liked it. I think the Bronco's sweet. It's cool. It's a cool truck. It's, I mean, it is like, it's cooler than a Jeep right now, for sure. But that's it. So, I guess I'll take my piece of junk back in the showroom. It's leaking, cooling everywhere. Is it really leaking? No. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna say, I hope not. Jesus, scared the crap out of me. Are you say, are you saying I didn't do a good job cleaning it? I mean, you shouldn't. Own a he black. had to clean it because it was sitting in here all, all dirty. Quote, all dirty. You should not own a black I, You know, car. I worked really hard at the car wash to clean this to bring it in here, and that's the compliment I get. Thank you, I appreciate. I saw it. you wash the Bronco. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> come on, I'm doing my best here. I'm doing my best. Now it's gonna stink. I have to get the car out quick. Everyone will be completely sick from the ethanol fumes here if I don't get out. The cool thing about my car is it actually has the factory exhaust rear section on it. So I can put the car in quiet mode, which is nice if you have to bring it into a dealership or you don't wanna wake your neighbors up. I still have that. That's quiet. Why does my Bronco look like that? Oh, it, uh, I hit a mud puddle. This is quiet mode and this is loud mode now. Oh. And there we go. Quite a bit different. But anyway, Bronco dropped off and we'll hit the road. The WRX is filming a little bit, so let's give him a flyby here. Whitmore, my favorite place to be other than my own home. I think, I feel like this is my second home, uh, but we're taking delivery of the new tow pick tow rig. You say it's fast. Oh, is it a little, is it the keys there? Ooh, okay, got the keys. All right, all right. Have fun, Have fun in the racks, buddy. I'll be home, I'll bring her back on time, don't you worry. Oh yeah, anyway, we are here and uh, this really should not come as a surprise because the 450 was cool. I think the new Fords look incredible. The new Ford Dualies, they look really cool. Um, and when I needed, when I realized, okay, we're, we're going back to doing the Viper build and I need something to tow both a Corvette and a Viper. 
Uh, now, to be fair, you don't really need that big of a truck to tow two light vehicles like that. You're talking like 8,000 pounds worth of vehicles, 2,500 pounds worth of trailer. It's not that much. Even a light duty truck could tow that. But I wanted something that can really tow it and be badass and something that you won't even feel the trailer behind you. And I was looking at the Fords again. The Fords are nice and the new ones have a pretty good interior. It's updated a little bit. It's not too bad, um, but it still just isn't up to snuff with my TRX. And then I was looking at some GMs and sadly they still kind of suck. Goodbye, Ladesh. There he goes in the racks. Woo! You love to hear it. Now, where does that leave us? If the Fords are pretty good, but not perfect for me, and the GMs are not very good at all, that only leaves one option. <laughs> one option, and that is, that's right boys, we have a Ram 3500, 2020 Ram 3500 Dually with all the bells and whistles. So this is a limited Ram and I know I've become a little bit of a Ram, well, a, a lot of a Ram fanboy here over the past eight months or so. It's actually almost been a year, if you can believe it, since my first TRX and that did not end well. But I am a little bit more of a Ram fanboy and I feel like this will be the perfect tow rig for the channel. We can do a fifth wheel, we can do a gooseneck, we can do regular whatever, and this will tow it over 1,000 pound-feet of torque. And being a limited, it's got all, like I said, all the bells and whistles. Big bat, it is the mega cab. So you actually have a pretty good amount of storage behind the rear seat in a truck. Now, it's not like the cab <laughs> is uh, small. But with the Ram Mega Cabs, you have even more space, which is awesome. And I love the look, the big cab with the little bed and it being wide like that. I, lo I love it, I love the look. Now I will say the Ford, the Ford Duallys look really good too. I love how they're kind of angular, but this is uh, I think my favorite. I really like the way that short bed looks. Now it's not for everyone. I'm sure some people would think it's a little bit weird to looking being so small, but I love it and I love that mega cab look it kind of looks like a like a baby semi truck but yes the limited so we've got side steps here they come down real nice and essentially what i like most is it's really the same inside as the truck i drive daily there's not going to be any like weirdness it's pretty much identical and it's really nice you look at the wood trim you have here now my trx is all black but this is really nice like might even be real. It kind of feels it's textured like it's real wood. So much freaking power, over a thousand pound feet of torque. And uh, these Rams are awesome. I've never had a Cummins, never had one. And now I do. So uh, my first one ever, there you go. Four wheel drive, of course, because I live in Pennsylvania, you need that. But yeah, it's a really, really nice truck. Got it for a pretty good deal, about 90 grand. Uh, only 10,000 miles on it. Beaver wanted everyone to know he took off the sticker. Yeah, just like it roasted the <laughs> You do gas. not, nobody roasts you. Oh, it's got a full tank. Put the numbers on it. Everyone MP loves tank. you, dude. And I did give you a shout out for that CR1, trying to sell it. Yeah, I think somebody should buy you it. Just really. it. Dude, I have zero dollars. I'm buying, I got a tow rig, I got twin turbo projects. Imagine towing ZR1 and Two the Viper ZR1s. ACR. Oh, I already have a ZR1. Well, and I'm going to tow ZR3 three of them. That's true. Tow three. <laughs> tow three vehicles. Just like I mean, this will do it. CDL or something. Yeah, this will do it. No problem. These things can tow 35,000 pounds. Six, tow that whole showroom right out of here. Please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. I'll see you later. All right. Thank you very much. You. Yes, sir. All right. Let's hit the road. Yes, Beaver got the sticker off. He was freaking. He was like, dude, people are going to roast me. I told him, nobody's going to roast you. I get roasted. Nobody else gets roasted, only me. Gotta set a good example for all of y'all out there, for the kids, let me get my seatbelt on. And let's take the big girl home. This truck has active lane keep assist. Like it will actually keep, you can take your hands off the wheel. Now I don't think you're supposed to do that, but you can take your hands off the wheel and it will steer for you on the highway. All right, now watch, hands off the wheel, watch. Look at that, that's awesome, look at that. You could put on the laser cruise control and your lane assist and you basically well i guess yeah theoretically you wouldn't have to actually be driving <laughs> one more thing also like i deliberately wanted the mega cab short bed because i think it looks the coolest um so i just wanted to say like it's not 
it's not as if this is the only one I could find. These are actually harder to find than a regular bed, but I love the dimensions. I love the proportions of the truck and the size. I think it's really cool looking. Um, so I picked it on purpose. I don't know if that's relevant or not, but I feel like I, I wanted to say that. I got my new truck and now it's time for you to get yours. This week only five times entries for you to win the Vader truck. That's right, every $1 spent equals five entries to win that truck plus $20,000 in cash. And just like with the last F450, this is it. Your best possible opportunity to enter this week only five times entries to win that truck. Every $1 spent on InchainDesigns.com gets you five entries to win that truck and you have a chance of winning that stuff as well. Got this shirt here, I won't say it because I don't wanna get flagged, but uh, you know what it is. We've got the Bakery AK-47 in white and in black. Another great seller, was actually our number one for a little while. People love this, I promise when you wear this shirt uh, more than any other one I wear, more people ask me about it and say it's really cool. That's an awesome one. Our number one selling shirt of all time, the Tropical AR Come and Take It shirt. Onto the goodies you guys absolutely love our detail line that we have. I mean, we get so many awesome reviews. If you haven't tried it yet, try something out. I think the best one really is our wheel and soot. People love this. It will clean anything. It's an awesome, awesome product. We also have the interior cleaner and conditioner, the classic detail spray. Uh, we have the car wash concentrate, the glass cleaner, and now the most recent one, the tire shine. Backpacks, we have really cool knives, by the way. We have like 20 different knives. They're really neat. Check them out on the website. We have the bug, oh, I forgot about the bug cleaner. We just added that as well. Stickers, student driver sticker, secured by Era 15. We have flags, hearing loss may occur, all kinds of cool stuff on there. If you don't want the truck, you can choose 100 grand in cash, and everybody I know could use an extra 100 grand. But the cool thing about the truck is, because it's an any level truck and you can adjust the height with the press of a button in two seconds, you can really make that a very practical truck because you're getting a whole nother set of wheels and tires. So we got the 28 inch set if you want the crazy, you know, show set. But then we also have a set of 20 inch wheels that won't stick out nearly as far. You can see in the back, those are a lot smaller. So if you don't want the truck to be quite as crazy, drop it down a couple inches, put the regular wheels on, the smaller wheels on, and you have a more daily drivable truck. So hit that link, get entered, and good luck. I'll be calling you soon to give you your new truck. You're gonna love it. Well, there you go. So uh, Black Bison is back at home. And I don't know, let me know what you think of that name, but I thought of it on the way. I was like, what would be a cool name? And I know Cletus had a white ram and it was the white buffalo and could be the black bison. I mean, fun fact, I'm sure everyone knows, but a bison and a buffalo, same animal, different name. But yeah, black bison, I think she looks great. And now for some modifications, definitely need a small lift, maybe not even a lift, maybe a level. It's leaning, you know, big time forward. Now that is good for towing, but we're not gonna put a ton of weight behind it. So we should be fine leveled out. And then a bigger wheel and tire, nothing that big, but, you know, maybe like a 35, so not even quite this big, but like a nice 35 on there. And yeah, I love it. I love it so far though. Drives like a dream. It really does. So I think I, I think I made the right choice, but again, let me know what you think in the comments. And yeah, I'm pretty hype about the new tow rig for the channel. Don't forget also though, uh, time is quickly running out for the any level F450 plus 20 grand giveaway. Or if you don't want the truck, again, I think it would work for anybody because you're getting, you can change the lift height with the press of a button and you're getting a whole nother set of wheels for it. So if you don't like it to be that big, you can put regular wheels on it. But if you don't want the truck, you can take a hundred grand as well. So make sure you hit that link down below and get those entries before the five times entry week uh, runs out. But if you enjoyed this upload, give it a big thumbs up. Take care. Have a great night. I'll see you in the next one.